Hello everyone and welcome to another TheVirtualInstructor.com video art lesson. Today we're going to be doing a drawing of an eye using color pencils. First thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to kind of map out where my eye is going to be. I'm using a dark brown colored pencil. A lot of people think an eye is a football shape. It's really not. It kind of goes up very quickly at the front side of the eye and then goes down slowly at the back side of the eye. A common mistake a lot of students make is they'll uh, make the iris touch the top but not the bottom. Most eyes, the iris part of the eye touches the top and the bottom of the eye. I'm going to go in and I'm going to draw kind of a crescent shape to indicate the iris and I'm going to leave a little space for my highlight. I might draw part of a circle for that. Go in and draw the eyelid. Uh, the eyelid is mimics uh, the shape that you drew or the line you drew for the top part of the eye. And now I'm going to go in with a white colored pencil and I'm going to start adding color to the white parts of the eye. And at this point you can go ahead and color heavy with your colored pencil. At the end we want the appearance of the entire image to appear heavily um, applied. And that's one of the techniques I suggest um, when you're using colored pencils. I'll go ahead and color in that highlight on the eye as well. So the eye looks wet, has the appearance of being wet. Now I'm going to go in with a dark brown and I'm going to color in the iris of the eye. Now um, I would strongly suggest you stay away from using the color black when you're using colored pencils. Really when you're using any color medium, it's always better to mix a black by using a dark brown and a dark blue. So I've gone over that with a dark, dark brown. Now I'm going to go over with a dark blue and that's going to really make it look like it's black, but it's really more of a natural black. There we go. Now I'm going to make these eyes be blue-green. So I'm going to go ahead and start adding the blue around the pupil. And I'm making the lines come out from the middle of the pupil. Um, most eyes have this kind of patterning that, that streaks out from the middle part. So it, you got to make sure that you're paying attention to your cross contour lines. And that's really going to help define the eye a little bit. Also, most people have a darker ring around the outside of the eye, so I might make that, that ring around the outside a little bit darker. I'm going back at this point, and I'm adding a little bit more variety in the iris, so it's a little bit more realistic and believable. I'm going to go back in with a yellow, which might seem strange, but the yellow is going to mix with the blue and give the eyes a little bit of a green tint to it. That's going to make it look more natural as well. Remember, one of the techniques for using colored pencils is to layer your colors. And by layering the yellow on top of the blue, I'm actually mixing a more of a natural looking green. I might go back over that again with the blue to kind of let that mix a little bit. I'll even take the brown and go back in and make some of the areas a little bit darker. Notice again I'm not using a black, but I'm using the dark brown to do this. It's going to make more of a natural um, shade. Now I'm going to take my white and I'm going to go right over what I've done, going in the same direction that I drew my blue on originally. And what's happening is the white's going to blend the colors that I've already put down nicely together. It's going to make them appear smooth and get rid of some of those pencil strokes that I don't want in there. Make it look more realistic and believable. All right, now that that's done, I'm going to go back over 
my original line a little bit and um, add a little bit of shadowing on each side since the eyeball is actually a sphere that rests in your orbital lobe there is shadowing on either side of the eyeball so I'm going to add a little bit of that add a little bit of blue with that so that's dark brown and the dark blue it's going to mix for a more natural looking black Go ahead and add a little bit of red there for the tear duct in the corner. And I'll add some white to it to make it more of a pink natural color. I'm also going to go ahead and take the white and mix those that blue and that brown that I put down there to make it look more natural. Now I'm going to outline the inside part of my eyelid. And as I'm doing that, I'm letting some of the color drop down a little bit to create a shadow on the eyeball itself. The eyelid's on top of the eyeball. It's going to cast a little bit of a shadow on the eye. A little bit of blue to make that natural black again. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and go over that again just to let that white blend those colors together. All right, at this point I'm going to take some white and go around the outside part of the eye. We're getting ready to add the skin tones to that um, and this is going to be something that we cover in part two of this colored pencil demo. So we'll pick it up with part two.